thank you for joining us today. We have a winter storm that comes in this weekend and it's one of the strongest ones that we've seen in a while. So we figured we'd get everyone together and uh, talk about it and give you our thoughts. The first piece of this puzzle uh, begins tonight and continues through Saturday. And it's uh, a little bit tough to figure out the precipitation type for the valleys. So we're thinking we should have rain, freezing rain, and maybe even some snow. And the mountains will have snow. The next part is the Saturday night through Sunday. This is the biggest piece that we're worried about. This is when the Arctic comes through. This is when we start to see the rain and freezing rain transition to snow. The mountains and passes will have a long duration snow event. Uh, we're worried about blowing snow and gusty east winds and we'll have really cold wind chills. So to get into some timing for the tonight system, this will show, uh, this is one of our models that will show the precipitation as it comes in. So here's 2 p.m., 4 p.m. You see it enters into Spokane's area. The greens are showing uh, rain, and when you see pink, that's a mixed or freezing rain. And then when you get more to blue, it's snow. So as this enters into Idaho and Montana, all the lower elevations of Idaho are, look like they should uh, be warm enough for pretty much all rain, snow in the mountains. Up in northwest Montana, the valleys are a little less certain. You start to see some of these areas that point out as pink up here, you know, north of Kalispell, and that expands overnight. And so we are worried that we'll see some freezing rain uh, for places like Kalispell, maybe even Highway 200, could be on I-90 as well. And we couldn't, we shouldn't rule out Missoula on this one, although this does keep us pretty dry. So if we're going with a more dry forecast, we should be fine for this first piece. If we do see precipitation, we probably would be worried about freezing rain as well. This is more of an overnight and morning scenario. The high terrain continues to see some snow tomorrow, but then there is a bit of a break through the day before we uh, get into the big piece, which is the moisture coming in from the southwest and an arctic that comes down. So. This will go up for a few more frames before it runs out of the length of time that this model exists, but showing uh, early morning Sunday is when we start to see a lot more precipitation show up. Again, some freezing rain and rain, and then the Arctic comes through and we get into all snow. So we also have a better way to look at the timing for this Arctic. So this is an important piece. Here on uh, Saturday afternoon, the cold air looks like it'll get its way over into around the Marias Pass and along the divide. And then overnight, it works its way into Kalispell. And then into the morning, we're seeing that we have most of northwest Montana, pretty much all of the divide down to Butte. Highway 200, I-90, all the way through Missoula. And then through the day, this works its way all the way into Idaho. This is a really strong cold of, or push of cold air and it gets all the way through to Grangeville and just to Salmon. It looks like Salmon will start to see the mix of this later in the day. And this is uh, you know, some of the coldest air that we've seen this season. And when we look at how this progresses, right along the leading edge of this, we expect some type of a mix of precipitation, probably rain and freezing rain, that quickly changes to snow, followed by snow and strong winds. So as for snow amounts, we'll jump into here. This is a general range of what we're looking at. We have seen a change lately where it, it initially looked like northwest Montana was going to be one of the big winners with this, but now the moisture has worked its way south and west. So places like Missoula look pretty good, even down to Butte and then especially into north central Idaho where at first it's kind of warm so the lower elevations aren't showing as much snow but then it looks like it could be a pretty big snow event. If we go back to this page that we were at here, this is what we have in the forecast. It's pretty much the same image that I had before. It just has it instead of a range, the actual point. And we did decrease these snow amounts up in northwest Montana, so we, 
we're thinking that it's a pretty good opportunity to get around four inches. We increased or kept the snow amount about the same around Missoula down through Butte and then increased the snow amounts over in central Idaho. And another way to look at this would be how, what's the opportunity to get over four inches of snow or at least four inches of snow. And you can see up here in northwest Montana, the percentages are pretty low. So it's right now not looking that, like it's that good of, an, or good of a plan to get more than four inches of snow. But it doesn't really change our thought on how big of an impact this could be. There's still a lot of wind. There's still the mixed precip and then the snow and blowing snow. But then when you get down to the middle part of our forecast area, much higher chances for at least four inches of snow. And again, same issues with wind and a changeover from rain over to snow. And then same with Idaho, except when we're looking at, at least for this time period, and this ends 5 a.m. on Monday morning, Grangeville and some of the lower elevations of Idaho aren't quite in the mix of, of seeing over four inches of snow. So as for the wind, we have a pretty good confidence that we'll see at least 30s to 40s for wind gusts Sunday morning as this Arctic gets into northwest Montana. Could even see some stronger winds with this. It's a really deep really cold air mass. It'll just crash over the mountains. So it's not necessarily one of those where we would think that Bad Rock Canyon would be the worst. They still will have some enhancement, but it's a, a widespread, pretty strong wind. And then as we work our way farther south, maybe not as strong of winds as we get into the center of the forecast area, but still pretty easily 30 to 35 mile per hour wind gusts. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some that are well into the 40s. The result from the cold and the wind as we get into Monday morning, really cold wind chills. We're talking the coldest that we've had at least this season, approaching negative 40 on Highway 2, negative 25 in Kalispell, a fair amount of below zero. Along the divide and all the way over to Sealy Lake, Drummond and all those guys, also seeing near negative 20 and even Missoula at negative 10 by Monday morning. So all the pieces together here, we have high confidence that this is going to happen as an event where we have warmer air coming in tomorrow. We have rising snow levels with a mix of precip, followed by quickly dropping snow levels, a change from rain, freezing rain, some type of a mix to snow, um, much colder, and gusty east winds with uh, really cold wind chills. The part that we're not as confident about would be the coverage for freezing rain like we had mentioned for tonight it's still a little tough to tell which places have the best chance for freezing rain especially as we get farther south toward i-90 snow amounts are still in question when we look at this as a, a average of a whole bunch of events that are similar they actually would show that northwest montana could have a lot of snow but we're thinking that there's just too much dry air for for that so we went against that and it also shows that north central Idaho would have a lot of snow out of this. And we do think that there's more potential for that to happen. So the snow amounts that we have out there are, you know, are, are best from what we can gather right now. But we would be uh, definitely expecting some changes in those forecasts in the coming days. And then this could extend into Monday. It looks like there could be another area of snow that extends through north central Idaho and west central Montana. So the mix of wind and blowing snow and additional snow accumulations should continue.